Hey, and welcome to Conversion Optimization with Upsell It. In this series, we'll be bringing e-commerce brands the best e-commerce tips to increase conversions and reach those KPIs. In today's video, we'll be talking about product recommendations. Now, Upsell has been your leading conversion optimization technology partner for over 15 years, so we've got the best tips for your brand to succeed. Before we get into product recommendation tips, let's talk about why they're important. Product recommendations are a great way to boost your average order value and build that brand reputation. You can think of it as like a personal shopper in a retail store. They're there to assist the shopper and show them products they may have otherwise missed. However, two out of five e-commerce shoppers say if they're consistently shown bad product recommendations, they'll no longer shop on your website. So it's important to get it right. For tip number one, determine your objective. You need to think about the experience these product recommendations will provide. Do you want to build brand reputation and assist the shopper? Or are you trying to create FOMO? Or do you just have extra items in stock? Once you determine that, you need to think about your funnel. You want to make sure these product recommendations assist in the funnel and not create any unnecessary friction. For tip number two, we need to decide between dynamic or static product recommendations. Now, dynamic are going to be AI-driven, algorithm-driven, and personalized for each shopper. Static are going to be the same for everyone. Static can be great if you have extra items you're trying to get rid of or you have best sellers you want to show, but dynamic can be that extra personalized experience. And keep in mind, seven out of 10 shoppers are more likely to convert if they're shown relevant product recommendations. Now that you have a vision for your product recommendations, let's talk tip number three, which is on placement. If you chose that easy upsell, that's great to put in the cart page towards the end of the funnel. If you decided on a dynamic product recommendation, that can be great in page while they're still shopping. You can also do a dynamic recommendation on abandonment. Let's say they didn't see what they were looking for and they go to leave your website. You can show them relevant recommendations for them and try and get them back into the funnel, back to conversion. So for tip number four, let's talk about how to present. Regardless of the recommendation you chose, you'll want to keep the messaging fairly simple. You'll also want to think about your objective from tip number one. If you're trying to create FOMO, Talk about how other shoppers are viewing those products. If you chose dynamic recommendations to help with the experience, make sure those shoppers know that those products are recommended specifically for them. Lastly, for tip number five, we'll talk about how upsell it can help. A lot of our partners come to us because they don't have the capabilities to build an engine in-house. We have an AI-driven, algorithm-driven product recommendation engine that looks at page views, time on site, cursor movements, to make sure we're recommending the most dynamic product recommendations for your shoppers. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, there's a link below that you can click so you can talk to a conversion strategist at Upsell It Today and discuss strategies for your website.